Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm back. Me every day, beginning a task. Agony, despair, while every moment on this wretched earth is filled with suffering, death, death, death. 10 minutes later. Man, I'm so glad I washed the dishes and I was so normal about it. Yes. Death, death, death. A hopeless romantic cowers before the infinitely more powerful, hopeful a romantic. I'm glad every incarnation of Gladian has kept the most important aspect of his character. Hmm. Arthritis. Ah, uh, so he is an artist. Blorbo for my shows this, Blorbo for my video games that, what about Blorbo from my D&D game that only three other people know? Do you ever think about that? I do. So, uh, my clothing died through my gloves. Plus three spell casting, plus one summoning EFF 2x damage versus undead. A tattoo makes it more demonic than undead. So, you're now a necromancer, a beginner's guide. Man arrested for training dog to throw bricks at people ringing his doorbell. Well, there goes that idea. Let him throw bricks! Snow donuts are a phenomena which occur when the wind blows over a snowy layer of ground and other snow materials collected along the way until large rings or rolls are formed. It's lovely to know we live in a world with snow donuts. Snow nuts. You just hate the cis because of the things that they did. I hate the cis because it's led by the treacherous Count Dooku. And also by the fact that his name is Dooku. What kind of name is that? I had a chance we were in the evil dimension, guys. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. I'm going to nibble off your ligaments. They should let us download ibuprofen for free. Finally. E-ibuprofen. I miss them. Fictional character I think about literally every single day. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh, what a cool post my mutual just reblogged. I think I will reblog it as well. Ooh, who did they reblog it from? That username seems familiar. Oh, it's me from an hour ago. Delightful. People born in 2010 are becoming teenagers next year. Excuse me! Last night I had a dream that there was a Tumblr update and the only thing it changed was that for two minutes straight you could sprinkle shredded cheese on other blogs and their posts and everyone's dashboards was just pandemonium as everyone cheesed each other. Two minutes of abominable amounts of shredded cheese raining from the dash. Tumblr at its finest. Get cheesed! Andy, have you been sprinkling cheese on this post the entire time I was talking? Autistic people of a particular flavor will master the art of expressing mundane sentiment in amusing ways because their most successful jokes as children were primarily accidental. And when you realize you have that spark of a weirdo and it's just a matter of intentionally and comic linguistic optimization to make yourself a regular sayer of things in funny ways. Maybe you're just high. I mean, it helps also, yeah. Can we go back to that first post though? Why is that me? I don't... I, I don't know how I feel about that. That's incredibly accurate. Project Runway, but it's for fursuits. I would watch the hell out of this show. Like, the, no, seriously, I would actually watch the crap out of that show. Have you seen some suits? Holy shit. I love stories where it's just one guy's really bad day. Same. My favorite thing in social media is spam posting one night, then disappearing for a week, then spam post again. Rinse and repeat. So mysterious. I'm like that mystery writer guy that shows up at a cafe every other week, and I look so cool and mysterious, but in reality, I'm posting pictures of cats on Tumblr. Before we go ahead, I apologize if I actually mispronounce this, because I have no idea. Absolutely not a new observation, but I love that the Pona word for animal, Sueli, is written like this. Fuck, man, that sure is. I have less than 200 followers, and this guy 80 notes in the span of hours. Bitches love animals. I mean, look at that guy. It's beautiful. Give him a little pat. Said with such intense auto-tune that I can barely be understood. <laughs> Just saw a post. Be careful out there. Hey girl, are you the devil? Because I want to kiss you under the pale moonlight. <laughs> Sir. If you're offline or away and I message you something like a link to a meme or a picture or whatever, honestly, just assume that I'm leaving it there for you when you get back and not expecting you to answer straight away. I don't need you to reply with, hey, sorry, I was away at the computer or anything. I was leaving you a gift for later. This also applies if you're online or just don't want to or have the energy to deal with humans in the moment. Just because we have the ability to reply in real time does not mean we have the obligation. Mario Kart's the closer to first place you are, the less useful power-ups you get system is an ideal model for how our economy should work. Whoa. I read this out loud to a boyfriend and he just went, Oh. That's fucking brilliant. Blue shell the 1%. 
Andy, throw it. Murkrow will now say a dirty word. Wiener. <gasps> How dirty. Butts, even. 